Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic, and today we're going back to a Will It Bot video. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, but I figure it's about time we get back into it. So, for those of you who don't know, Will It Bot is where we take a random item and we try and turn it into a combat robot. There are three rules to this. Uh, we have to make weight inside a certain weight class. We have to keep some of the look of the original item as much as possible. And then three, it needs to have some form of active weapon. And of course, in there, it also needs to be a valid combat robot. Uh, so, you know, I can't break any of the normal rules of combat robotics. Uh, and today, we're going to do something that it's close, but it's not quite there. Because I've got this little uh, squirty toy here, which I picked up at an op shop or something some, at some time. Uh, and we're going to turn just the dinosaur head from this into a combat robot because the robot that I want out of the end of this is going to actually be a lone bot for ARC. I have done quite a lot of uh, robot builds over this kind of pandemic period while we haven't been fighting robots. So I've, I've got robots that I want to fight. Now it's time for me to build robots for other people to fight. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. So let's... Uh, get the top off this dino and see what we're actually working with. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there we go. That is the uh, the head of the beast removed. And this is actually really cool. This is quite lightweight. There's nothing in here. It's like a hollow piece of plastic. Uh, and it's got four mounting points that we can very, very easily attach a 3D print to. So I think the idea with this is we're going to build some form of dustpan robot and then have this as an overhead clamp style weapon because uh, I think that's going to work really well and it's going to obviously gel nicely with the, uh, the dinosaur theme that we've got going on here. So the rest of this stuff I'm just going to have to get rid of uh, or throw back into a projects box and use at a later date. Uh, yeah, the wrist strap and the bottom of the drawer and stuff aren't useful to me. I had considered trying to use the bottom of the drawer for something, but uh, I can't really make a wedge out of this, or at least I can't do that without like severely adding lots of stuff to it, which kind of defeats the whole point of turning it into something. So we're going to leave this guy behind and focus on just this. Well, let's try that again. So, here we go. This is the new chassis uh, for this lifter grabber. Well, it's just going to be a grabber, really, because we're going to have the uh, dinosaur head. Oh, come on. Up through the middle. Chomp, 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 chomp. That's, uh, that's the idea. Check this thing out. I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, some of you might realize that this, the back half of this chassis is uh, very familiar. That's because I've used this chassis in uh, another lone bot attempt and then also in the original version of my saw build. Uh, I've just redone the front end and uh, tried to challenge myself to make some nice little like teeth curves, which I think those fangs turned out pretty well considering that I don't normally model anything that's got a couple of different curves in going in different directions. I think it's worked out quite nicely. Now, uh, in the past, I have used this and had a servo sitting in here and have broken the top section off. And that's where some hot glue is going to come in. But not just any old hot glue. I've actually found myself some colored hot glue. So in a second, we're going to remove the glow in the dark hot glue stick that's in here at the moment. And we're going to throw in some red and we're going to use red to hold the servo in place, hopefully. Uh, so the servo is just going to be one of these metal geared servos that I've killed in the past. Uh, but I think we can make it work and not have it die on us this time round. Fingers crossed, basically. Uh, but I'm going to screw this thing in and get my hot glue gun heating up. And uh, yeah, we'll get this stuff together. We're also going to steal the electronics out of uh, the robot that I used to kind of show off how to mix uh, one of the fly sky transmitters. So this will be all we need for now. We're going to run the servo off the five volt regulator that's on. There's an Arduino in this stack up. Uh, that's not ideal, but it will do the job for now. And I'll probably end up uh, doing a quick tweak to these uh, electronic stack up later on uh, just to get everything working a little bit better and not relying on the five volts from the Arduino.
Cool, so that is in and now dry and yeah, I really like this uh, red hot glue. It actually, it blends relatively well. It blends better on camera than it does in real life, unfortunately, but it's not, not too bad. Uh, so the next trick is gonna be to install some motors into this thing and uh, get some wiring going. Then we'll work on some wheels because I've actually, I've got some new wheels that I've uh, done up for this so that they fit the right color scheme. Uh, but they're still kind of curing a little bit, so I'm just going to give them as much time as possible to get done uh, because they are silicony ones like this, and yeah, if we don't leave them outside for long enough, then they'll stink up the place. Uh, so let's get some motors in. All right, so before I take this too much further, I'm gonna do a wheels off test, just make sure everything is working correctly, uh, and that uh, we know which way our servo is gonna go. Okay, so looks like this stick is all the way, right, so that is down at the moment, so the way that's moving, this up here is up and that is down, so I think I like that. I'm gonna leave it in that direction. Uh, our wheels, uh, the wheel on this side is moving incorrectly. It's uh, not going the right way. So I'm gonna get that changed uh, and then we'll get this all set up. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, we'll get the wheels next, I reckon. Cool, so we have wheels and as I said, these are brand, brand new, so they just need a little bit of cleaning up here and there. Uh, you can see I've kind of sharpie colored the face of them to be black rather than the green of the actual material that they're printed in. I didn't actually have any uh, black flexible PLA, so they just had to be in this green and I just sharpied them, like I said, to get them to be the color I wanted them, which I'm hoping doesn't look too bad once we get the, uh, the silicon off here because of course there is a bunch of excess silicon around the edges, which always happens when you do this type of stuff. Uh, and if you're wondering too, the silicon video, uh, sorry, the silicon wheels, I have made a tutorial on these. Uh, you'll find that linked in the description down below if you want to uh, make your own. I highly suggest it. Silicon wheels are very, very grippy. They're really, really nice for, uh, yeah, getting some good push on some opponents. So, Let's just peel these off. Oh, that's right, there's some gunk down inside each of these holes as well. Mm. Yeah, so once I get these out of here, we'll be right and we can put these on the robot and they should actually look pretty good, I think. Uh, I mean, obviously they would look better in the actual right color plastic, but that wasn't on the cards, so. Mm. Cool, there we go. I think I've weakened this. Yeah, I've weakened that joint a little bit, but that's all right. Let's plug these in. Ah, oh, check that out. <laughs> that's looking good. Okay, cool. So we have a plate now. Now this plate, uh, yeah, if I can get my camera to focus on it, uh, it's a little bit chewed out on one end and that's because I didn't print it properly and it wasn't actually fitting the servo horn into it properly. So it does look a little bit disgusting. Uh, but right now that's okay. It actually, it does work. So that's the, the first thing. We need to get it screwed onto our dyno plate just like this and then we can get that all attached onto the servo horn, which I can't really hold that in a way that's gonna show you what this looks like. So let's just get it all screwed down.
Ah. So, um, whoops. <laughs> we were off, off center, just, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, well, I think it looks awesome. Check this thing out. I mean, this side definitely shows off that it's a little off center, but this side, this side's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, so I'm just gonna give this a quick little uh, test to make sure that everything is actually going the way I expect it to be going. Uh, so that's okay. Yep, that's all right. And lift, yes, aha, check him out, woo! <laughs> oh, that's so cool, chomp. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I do need to connect the arm a little bit better. The servo horn on the arm is uh, just hot glued at the moment, which isn't combat stable, uh, like in any way. Uh, but yeah, if I throw some screws in there, that should be good. And then we need to screw the servo horn onto the arm. But I also probably actually need to, um, do a different version of that mounting plate so that the head is actually in the right spot. Although, I don't know, I kind of like it a little bit off center. It gives it a little bit of charm. Uh, now the other thing too that I should actually do but I'm not going to in this video is make up a back plate for it, uh, like a, a top cover. But as you can see, my wiring and stuff in here is a little bit messy. So what I'm going to do instead is this ESE is just a temporary one. I've got some uh, circuit boards that I'm doing some designs for right now, which I'll put in there eventually uh, anyway. So yeah, we're not actually going to use this board. So none of this wiring is going to need to stay there. So I'm going to leave it as is for the moment, but I will do up a little uh, top cover that will, yeah, uh, sort this guy out. I'm so, so tempted just to leave him a little bit awkward and a little bit off-center because I kind of like it. I, I don't know why, I just do. I think it looks a little bit interesting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let's be honest. The If I was going to move it, the head would have to be basically straight over, like centered up with the actual arm piece, which I could do, I think, but I might lose more bolt holes maybe. Ooh, that could be interesting. It's, it's something to think about for sure. All right, I'm gonna give this guy an actual test drive. We're gonna clear the bench here, put some robots down, and I'm gonna try and clamp them and stuff uh, with it like this, maybe with some tape across the back uh, as an actual top plate while I decide what I'm gonna do with this. So there you go, yes, it does actually combat robot. We've turned this into something mostly decent. Like I said, head is a little off center and I've decided I'm gonna keep it like that. I kind of like the little derpiness to it. Uh, I, I really actually like the shape of the chassis and the way all of this has come together. So 
I might in the future, especially if you guys are interested, I might look at uh, redoing this, but with the 3D printable T-Rex skull, that's kind of very, very common online, especially on places like Thingiverse. Uh, so if you wanna see something like that, please let me know in the comments down below and I will have a look at uh, doing that and obviously doing a proper backplate for it and all of that kind of thing. But for now, yeah, that has actually gone really well and that is gonna be a fairly capable loan bot. I might uh, also throw some very thin plastic in between the front two prongs just to kind of give that a bit of a better lip so it's a nice uh, dustpan, but yeah, it seems to work. The grabbing mechanism worked really, really well. The teeth that are in under here seem to have a fair amount of grip to them, which was really cool. Uh, and actually, yeah, having the, the thing down, I could actually grab things and drag them, which was really, really good. That's, you know, what a grabber like this is supposed to do. So yeah, on the whole, actually really happy with that. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.